Notation is a bunch of letters that form an algorithm, which can be used to help solve a Rubik's Cube. Today I will be showing you notation for 2x2 two two through 5x5 five five puzzles. You need to know Rubik's Cube notation if you want to solve or apply patterns to your cube. There are six faces on a Rubik's Cube and each one is assigned a letter. The letter stands for the name of that face. R is the right face, L is the left face, U is the upper face, F is the front face, D is the down face, and B is the back face. Any letter on its own is a 90 degree clockwise turn for that face. So we have R, L, U, F, D, and B. If an apostrophe is added after the letter, it simply means the rotation is changed to counterclockwise. So now we have R prime, L prime, U prime, F prime, D prime, and B prime. If the number two is added after a letter, it changes it into a 180 degree rotation. So now we have R2 and so on. These are all the turns used for a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. For 3x3, three three, we use all of those turns and two more. Since there is now a middle layer, M is added to the letters. M is the middle layer down, like this. M prime is the middle layer up. The other turn used for 3x3 three three is called a wide turn. A wide turn means you turn two layers at once. For example, R wide, L wide, U wide, and so on. For 4x4, four four, we use all of those turns and one more. You could turn just one of the middle layers, like the right middle layer, here. Not everybody uses the same notation for this, but some people add a 2 in front of the letter to mean the second layer in. Some people just make that letter lowercase, and some people use other things, but I'm sure they'll tell you in a tutorial video. I will just add a 2 before the letter. So now we have 2R, 2L, 2U, and so on. 5x5 five five uses the exact same notation. For all of these cubes, there are three cube rotations. You probably won't need to use them very often, but they're still good to know. X is rotating the entire cube up, like this. Y is rotating the entire cube to the side, like this. It's the same way you would do a U-turn, but just the entire cube. And Z is rotating the cube like this, the same way you would do an F-turn, but the entire cube. Try applying these turns to your cube. F, L, F, U prime, R, U, F2, L2, U prime, L prime, B, D prime, B prime, L2, U. If your cube looks like this, then you've done this algorithm correctly, and you now know Rubik's Cube notation. Now that you know Rubik's Cube notation, you can learn how to solve your cubes. Please subscribe and like this video for more tutorials like this one.